Recently, a remarkable discovery stunned the science world. Bill Nye, a famous science communicator, revealed that Voyager 1 found 300 huge objects in space. This announcement sparked excitement and raised questions about the origins of these spacecraft-sized objects. What could they be? Where do they come from in the cosmos? Voyager's new findings have led to a deeper curiosity about the universe. For almost five decades, the Voyager missions have helped us view distant planets. Originally, these space missions were never meant to last this long. In the 1970s, Michael Manovich had an idea to use a planet's gravity to propel a probe. The Voyager mission was meant to last only five years in the solar system. But in 1977, both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were launched just weeks apart into the galaxy. They first studied Jupiter and Saturn, offering detailed data on these gas giants. But Voyager 2 went further and visited Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989. These flybys gave rise to the term Voyager Grand Tour of our star system. Instead of stopping, these spacecraft continued toward the deep void. Now, over 45 years later, both Voyagers are still collecting important space data. In 2013, Voyager 1 officially entered interstellar space beyond the Sun's influence. This region lies between stars, outside the sun's magnetic bubble. It's like leaving a busy city and stepping into a quiet, starry wilderness. Voyager 2 followed in 2018, crossing this silent space zone. At a distance of 17.7 .7 billion kilometers, they now float in the interstellar medium. These probes help us learn about the heliosphere, the protective solar shell. The solar wind creates this bubble, acting as a shield around our planetary system. Both voyages are messengers, sending back data from beyond the sun's boundary. All this leads to the heliopause, the line between solar wind and galactic space. One key discovery was the presence of cosmic rays, high-energy particles. These rays are more intense beyond the heliosphere, similar to a busy meteor field. NASA used data from other missions to get a full picture of space boundaries. In 2023, Voyager 1 picked up a faint humming from gas in interstellar clouds. Nicola Fox of NASA called this mission transformative, praising 46 years of stellar exploration. This progress is more impressive due to limited power from the plutonium generator. As the power source decays, energy drops in the freezing vacuum of space. To adapt, NASA shut down non-essential systems, even heaters for instruments. Yet since 2019, five key instruments have still worked in these cold cosmic zones. NASA scientists are amazed the craft hasn't frozen in this frigid space front. The heliopause isn't a fixed boundary, it bends and twists like a space ribbon. Over the years, Voyager data showed this boundary isn't stable in the solar edge. NASA's IBEX satellite confirmed these changes in the outer heliosphere. They only offer snapshots, but still reveal much about our galactic border. Dr. Eric Searin from Princeton shared excitement over EBEX's valuable space readings. Recent studies challenged old models after noticing particle brightening near the heliopause. These patterns suggest the boundary isn't smooth but has irregular waves. Voyager 1 entered interstellar space in 2012, Voyager 2 followed in 2018, despite a six-year gap. Such findings question what we know about space transitions. Nature Astronomy called this data, entry speaking, sparking debate in the science community. NASA's upcoming mission, IMAP, will study these regions after launch in 2025. Yet mystery continues. In May 2023, Voyager 1 faced a communication glitch. Its AACS system, which controls antenna direction, sent back strange data. The probe looked fine, but reports were inconsistent, as if it had digital aphasia. NASA later found AACS used an inactive computer. A simple command restored the correct system for data transmission. Still, they don't fully understand what caused this internal software bug. Such issues didn't endanger Voyager 1, but it shows how fragile space tech is. Beyond the sun's shield, Cosmic rays and radiation storms strike spacecraft harder. 
high energy particles sometimes hit computer chips, creating memory glitches. Susan Dodd, project manager, said these errors are expected for a mission of this age. Voyages operate beyond what any other probe has experienced. It's been almost 50 years since these crafts started their interstellar voyage. Despite having just 70 kilobytes of memory, they keep sending stellar data. Imagine updating software from Earth to a craft billions of miles into the void. That's like long-distance IT support from one side of the Milky Way to the other. Each Voyager is the size of a small car, yet their reach is truly galactic. Built in the 1970s, their computers are weaker than today's digital watches. Their old TV cameras seem primitive next to modern high-res space telescopes. Still, these crafts revealed powerful storms and hidden rings around planets. Voyager showed Jupiter isn't calm, it has hundreds of storms and glowing auroras. Saturn's rings, once thought few, are now seen as countless interlaced bands. Voyager also revealed volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io and geysers on Neptune's moon Triton. Triton's nitrogen eruptions occur near absolute zero, a true frozen world. Perhaps the most thrilling discovery is the possibility of alien life. Moons like Europa and Enceladus hold salty oceans beneath icy crusts. These oceans may host life, making them targets for future astro missions. One poetic moment came in the 1990s when Voyager captured the pale blue dot. Suggested by Carl Sagan, this image showed Earth from billions of miles in the cosmos. It reminded us of our tiny place in the vast universe. In 2012, Voyager 1 crossed into interstellar space, with Voyager 2 joining in 2018.